Okay, so there's some really good news. It turns out that if you have the right kind of GPU and the right kind of um, web UI, then installing Xformers is like change one line of code and then sit back and let the computer do everything. And just recently I made a whole video where you have to go through all these steps and do all this nonsense and backflip here and backflip there in order to get it working. So the fact that it's possible with just one change in the code is just like, mm, that's really nice. Okay, so we're gonna go through that process from scratch. I uninstalled everything. I uninstalled the web UI, I uninstalled Python. We're here, ground zero, nothing. And we're gonna get Xformers working and it's gonna be easy this time. Step one, before you even start this, you have to work out if you have the right GPU. Okay, so on the guide it says you have to have a Pascal, Turing or Ampere card to do the easy install. Um, if you don't have one of those GPUs, then you'll have to do it the long way. Uh, I made a video for that if you want to see it. Um, but how do we check this? How do we know if that's what our GPU is? Well, Pascal, Turing and Ampere, they refer to what are called microarchitectures, which basically as NVIDIA, the company has like progressed through the years, it's set up GPUs in different ways. And every few years, it changes the way that it sets up GPUs and that's considered new microarchitecture. And they're not, they're like not fully compatible with each other. Okay, so how do you know what the microarchitecture of your GPU is? I found that this website was the best. It's this article by this gentleman here and he just puts a summary of which GPUs have which microarchitectures. Basically, if you have a 1000 series, a 2000 series, or a 3000 series, you're fine. You can use it with the, with the fast method. So that's like really good. Now, when I read the article, I was like, okay, hang on, hold up a sec. Can we trust this guy? Can we trust Candy Tech? I don't know. But uh, in the links, they source this database as the place where they got the information. And this database from Tech Power Up looks like pretty official and pretty good. And if you really wanna be really thorough for some reason, you can also look up your GPU here. Uh, my recommendation is just go to the architecture filter, which it's called architecture here, but technically they're talking about a micro architecture for the nerds out there. Um, and then you find the architecture that you suspect yours is, like let's say, you know, I suspect, I suspect I'm, I'm a 2000 series, so I'm like, oh, I suspect my architecture is, um, it's probably, what did he say? It's a, probably Turing, so I find Turing here. And then I can see if my GPU is listed here. Let's have a look. So I'll go uh, Control Alt Delete, Task Manager, and I'll go to Performance, I'll find my GPU, uh, RTX 270 Super. Okay, so I'll just search that, Control F. Wow. I am not typing well today. Okay, so look, it looks like my GPU is right here and it's, it's a Turing. So like, that's good. That's good news for me. That means I can do the fast way. Again, if your GPU is not one of these fancy ones, then you're fresh out of luck. You'll have to do the hard way, which I went through before, which is not actually too terrible. Um, and by the way, if you want to learn a bit more about microarchitectures for God knows what reason, I've linked in the description some of the resources that I use to get a bit more information before starting this video. Okay, now we can actually start installing things because we know we have the right GPU. So first thing, we're gonna install this web UI. We go code, we go download zip, and that's really fast. We open it, we extract all, and we extract it to our C drive, directly into our C drive. This is because in the past, I've had issues with paths being too long during the Xformers install process. Now, I don't know if that's still an issue. Maybe when you do the quick install, that won't be an issue anymore, but I don't wanna take risks. So I'm just gonna put it in C and there's no downside to putting the web UI in C. There's no real issue here. So here's the web UI um, and I'm just gonna rename it to just web UI because you know we're not taking any chances with path lengths here. Okay, great. So now we know path lengths are not gonna be an issue. I'm gonna go grab my model, uh, my stable diffusion model. I already happen to have it in documents, SD models, here's my model, uh, cut. Actually, I'll just copy it because I might need this later. Copy, C, web UI, and you put it in the model stable diffusion here. 
and it has to be called model.ckpt. This is the, uh, this is stable diffusion 1.4, by the way. If you go to the website, it actually shows you where you can download that. Now, if you're not like me, and you don't happen to have that model just lying around, go to this dependencies link on the, uh, the main readme of the GitHub. And there are some places where you can go to download that file. You might have to sign up for a Hugging Face account and make it make an account and accept some licenses. But that's where you go to download the model. Just remember, for the love of God, to rename it to model.ckpt and put it inside the models directory right here next to this file. So we've installed the web UI, we've added the model to the correct directory, that's all looking good. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a small edit to allow Xformers to work. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a small edit. We're gonna open this file called launch.py. We're gonna open it with just like a regular text editor. We're just gonna open it with notepad. Okay, and everything is going to look a little bit scary, but don't worry too much. Just control F for command line. Like this. Find next. Here we go. And then you'll find this line that says command line args equals blah, blah, blah. And we're just going to add a new command line arg here. Dash, 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 x formers. And now, great, nice. We'll save it. And we know it's saved because the little star went away there. But you know what? Just because we're careful, we're cautious people, we're going to try that again. And we're going to again search, command line, find next. And yep, yeah, so this, the change definitely got, got in there. And here it is. Great. And that's basically all we need to do. The last thing I'm going to do now is I'm just going to double click on this webui.bat. And I'm going to more info, run anyway. Okay, and we've run into this issue because I uninstalled Python before. We've run into this issue where it's telling us that it couldn't launch Python. Because of course we have, we have no Python on our computer right now. So I'm just going to install Python really quick. This will be in the description, so don't stress. Download Python 3.10. Um, we're gonna download the 64-bit installer because we have a 64-bit computer. You almost certainly do as well, but if you wanna check, <clears throat> you can go to system information and then it'll be here under the system type. Uh, easy, already downloaded. Always say this, add Python 3.10 to your path and then install now. And again, really fast process. Love installing Python. I've just been installing and uninstalling Python like every day, basically. I'm probably, I'm probably considered a bot by their servers. Okay, setup was successful, beautiful. Okay, so this time with a little bit of luck, we won't get an error. And okay, nice, it looks good. It looks like what's happening is that we're installing Torch and Torch Vision, um, which means that at least the computer has picked up the Python. Two other things you need installed here are Git and the right version of CUDA. So if I open up command prompt and I type where Git, it'll show me that there's a Git installed somewhere on my computer. If you don't have that, then all you have to go is just find this website here, which I'll link click download for Windows, and you're good to go. The other thing I have installed is CUDA version 11.3. Now, other versions of CUDA are fine as well. I've had someone in the YouTube comments say that CUDA 11.7 worked for Xformers for them. I had someone else say CUDA 11.8 was fine. Now we wanna check our CUDA version. So open up command prompt again. And we just type in this thing here, ncc dash dash version. And that'll give us information about NVIDIA stuff. And we'll hit what we have here is CUDA 11.3. So like, good stuff. If you don't have any version of CUDA installed, if you type in nvcc and you get some sort of weird error, then you'll have to install CUDA. Luckily, this isn't even that difficult either. You go to CUDA 11.3 install. 
or you know perhaps you want to go with if you can do a later version of CUDA you should so I'm choosing 11.3 maybe if you can do 11.8 you should try 11.8 where installing CUDA is concerned, my advice would be to go to this link, which is of course down there in the description. And as long as your Windows is like a reasonably new, not crazy old Windows, then you just want to go through this process, Windows Architecture x86-64, which again, system information. Because it says this, that means that that's almost certainly appropriate for me. Um, and then the version of Windows, which is 10, and then do the XE, and then download it, and then just follow it along. I'm gonna cancel the download because it's huge. And then just follow the wizard and you'll be able to install uh, CUDA. I would recommend doing 11.8 because that's the newest one. It's gonna give you the least grief. Okay. And so it looks like, it looks like it's worked. And we can tell that the Xformers thing that we did also worked because here it says launching web UI with arguments X formers. So at least our X formers thing looks like it's worked. So now we'll just go to this URL here, localhost uh, 80.6. And now we're going to just generate an image and we'll see how we go. And judging by the speed at which that's working, I'm pretty damn certain that Xformers is working. Another thing that I'm going to do to confirm that Xformers is working is I'm going to open up the command prompt. I'm going to go nvidia.smi, which is prints out basically your GPU usage stats. So it's like, okay, we're using um, 3.6 gigabytes of GPU right now. I'm going to keep that handy. And then I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do like a batch size of, of, of five, which would crash my computer if it wasn't using Xformers. And then I'm just gonna generate, I don't know, like another, another three images. And while that's going on, we're gonna check out nvidia.smi. And it's telling us that we're only using four gigabytes, despite that huge batch size. So, if we weren't using Xformers, we'd be using something like seven gigabytes instead of four. So this is like pretty de definitive proof that we are using um, Xformers. There you have it. That whole process took me slightly over half an hour. Maybe if you have to install Git and CUDA as well, it'll take you a tiny bit longer. But that was really quick and that was really easy. If you look at my last tutorial, and if you try to follow along all those processes, you'll understand what a big win this is. So, you know, huge thanks to the guys at Stable Diffusion Web UI um, for just like hammering out those changes and making our lives so much easier. If you have any questions, uh, chuck them in the YouTube comments or there's also a Discord that you can ask technical questions um, of. And big thanks to all the people who are harassing me in the YouTube comments last time to show everyone the easy version because otherwise I wouldn't have known about the easy version. So all the abuse, it's, it's good. Keep it up.